G'day, Adam VK4GHZ. We're gonna have a quick look at the project which I've called the Thunderbolt Commander. What it does, uh, why it came about, and why you might want to build one up. Now it's a pretty uh, simple thing, there's only about a dozen parts in it. Uh, you can knock it up on a bit of Vero board, it's certainly no circuit board required, it's that simple. Uh, it uses a $3 8 pin pickaxe microcontroller, very uh, easy to use, very versatile. What it does, it uh, will send command packets to your Trimble Thunderbolt uh, via these four push buttons. So we can totally remove the need for having a laptop uh, ever again. The defaults I've, I've set are um, set receiver mode to um, overdetermined clock, set receiver mode to full position 3D, start survey, and that will toggle the time between GPS time and UTC time. But you can modify the code however you like um, to have four uh, functions, or if you only want two or three, fit as many push buttons as you like. So we can see what we're doing. We'll put our Thunderbolt display onto page two, and as you can see, we're in the default mode of overdetermined clock. To change to full position 3D, it's just a matter of pressing button number two, like so, and there you go. We're in full position 3D mode, where our latitude and longitude, and therefore grid square, will be uh, constantly updated. And our parts per billion count is still not too bad, even though it's not in the optimum mode for um, disciplining. It's still pretty respectable. Back to page two. Now we can always go back to overdetermined clock mode just by pressing button number one. And as you can see, we're in overdetermined clock mode. Button number three will kickstart a survey off, like so. And when it's in survey mode, it always goes to full position 3D mode. And that's raised a minor alarm, which tells us it's doing a survey. Trimble's default is 2,000 samples in a survey. I've um, set this to 100 only, but you can change that to variable to whatever number you like uh, in the pick by editing the pickaxe code. Very easy to do so, and you'll see that there. 98, 99, 100%, and there we go. Finish the survey, and it's just gone back into overdetermined clock mode. This button here will toggle between GPS time and UTC time. G changes to the U and press it again. Back to a G and you'll notice the 15 second offset changes with it. I don't know what use that is, but it's just making use of the fourth um, input line on the pickaxe. You can change that to whatever you like. And if anyone can think of something useful for the fourth button, let us know. The way the pickaxe program Operates is pretty straightforward. It's just constantly scanning for button presses, and when a button is pressed, it will then execute a subroutine to spit out the serial data to the Thunderbolt. So you can just modify the contents of those subroutines to, uh, to suit yourself, whatever commands you'd like to, uh, to send to it. Now, if you have a, uh, a Thunderbolt and a Thunderbolt display, we're only using two wires. That's, of course, ground and the transmitted data out of the Thunderbolt goes into the display. By adding the commander we need to add one more wire which is uh, data going back to the Thunderbolt. Now the uh, data line coming from the Thunderbolt to the display we pick off and that's used in the commander um, because that line idles at about uh, minus nine volts. So if you refer to the schematic diagram you'll see how we, uh, we use a diode and a uh, capacitor to uh, generate a minus nine volt rail from that. So that then uh, satisfies the RS-232 requirement of zero crossing. Um, so what we get out of this uh, project is a, a swing between plus five and minus five, which is more than enough to satisfy the RS-232, which I think the spec is um, plus three and minus three. So um, this uh, is, works really well. And it's simple, two parts to generate a minus rail. No max 232 chip or anything required. It needs a plus five volt rail, and we get that from the Thunderbolt display. So that's the Thunderbolt Commander. It's uh, pretty versatile, costs about 15 bucks to make, and uh, totally removes the need for a laptop once you've configured your Thunderbolt. So you can predefine any of these four buttons to whatever you like by editing the pickaxe code to suit yourself. All the resources are there, the schematic, uh, the pickaxe code to start with, and a suggested um, Vero board overlay. Have fun with it, catch on the microwave bands.